This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from thecreativedejo.net. Hope you're doing well out there. In this video, I just want to give you guys a quick update on the responsive auto scale preset that I created last time in the last video tutorial. If you guys want a more intimate information on how to create this using expressions, kind of how to set everything up using the expression and the kind of the logic behind it, check out the video tutorial link down below that I created last time. This is just a little update on the preset here that I created. We modified it. We added some finishing tweaks to it to kind of make it a little bit more um, user friendly and uh, work a little bit more predictable for some cases right here. So basically, if you're not aware, this is kind of a preset that kind of allows you to kind of define a margin or define a certain size or region and kind of keep everything contained in the area. So for example, it could be text layers, it could be shape layers, it can be footage, you know, graphics, you know, video files, whatever it is. Um, you set a dimension, you set a size and things will kind of auto scale up and down to kind of fit that size in that region. So it's very, very handy for like fix width designs or things where you, you know for sure you want to be this particular size no matter what it is. Um, and it'll kind of adapt to it here. So this is kind of like a little demo comp that I created. And here's the responsive auto scale preset. This is a name your own price preset, which you can get over at creativedejo.net. We have a lot of other presets, so check them out below as well. So based on user feedback, we actually added this new option right here called upscale to fit. And this is actually a default behavior in the original expression um, for this kind of preset right here. But we, now we have an option to kind of turn it on and off. And so basically, you know, let's say the scale was, you know, 500 or something like that. And so by default, whenever we change this text, for example, uh, and we type in like motion, right? So right now, the only defining limit right here is the width. So it's going to pretty much scale this text up to fit the width of this thing. So basically the smallest constraint. So right now the smallest constraint out of 850 by 500 is the 850 width. That's the kind of the constraint. So as long as the height is not violated, it's going to scale everything up to fit the width right here, which is the limiting factor in this particular scenario. Um, so by default, it scales things up. And a lot of times, you know, for example, text, for example, you may not want to scale things up all the time. You want to keep it the default size and only scale down if needed, for example. So, you know, right here I have my text set to 69 pixels. I don't want it to scale up. And so now if we uncheck upscale to fit, the text will maintain its original size at 69 pixels. It's only going to scale down if needed. So if I type something longer, like motion design and typography, you can see that it kind of is still, it will still scale down but if it's something shorter like motion design, it's not going to scale up unless you choose the upscale to fit feature, which will scale things up to the limiting factor right here, which in this particular case is the width. And you know, if you were to decrease the height, then it may not you know, scale up all the way because it's already reached the height limit of the defined region. So this was a big thing right here. And then we also added a scale offset. So, you know, so whatever this preset is doing, um, you know, whether it's scaling up or down, if you really wanted to fine tune it for whatever reason, you don't have to mess with the expression. You just go into the scale offset and just kind of offset it up or down depending on what you want to do. Um, so this is kind of like a, an override feature of the scale property if you want to do that. Um, and so, yeah, so this is pretty much kind of the update to the whole thing. And I also want to remind you that this can actually work with footage, compositions, graphics, whatever it is. So let's say you wanted to put like a video here, this little video placeholder. We can define the actual limiting um, size right here. So right now it's set to 990 pixels and a height of 400 pixels. And we can scale this up or down proportionally and set the anchor point to the left right here. And so, you know, whatever we do, whatever this is, it's always going to stay just like this. And then, you know, it will scale up to fit the size, no matter what it is, whether it's graphics or footage. And then you can duplicate this again. And, you know, you can change the position over you can change the anchor point to the right side to make sure everything scales proportionally up on that side. Push it over here um, and, you know, do your thing here and it will all, always scale to the right size. Of course, for this example, you could just create like, you know, a predefined pre comp or whatever like that and just put your foot in there. That may be an easier solution, uh, but you kind of get the idea of the, the preset basically. And in future updates, we may incorporate stuff like proportional scale versus, you know, just width scale or just height scale. There's a lot of scenarios where we can go with this. Um, so if you guys have any feature requests or any modifications to this little preset, um, let me know down below. Before I go, I want to give a quick thanks to our sponsor over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only platform to create an amazing website with for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing themes to choose from, fully customizable so you can make it the way you want it to look like without having any coding knowledge required. They have awesome 25-hour support, 
And best of all, if you use the promo code DOJO at checkout, you can actually save 10% off your order to support the dojo. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. So that is the responsive auto scale preset from the Creative Dojo for After Effects. Check it out, you can get it over at creativedojo.net, as well as our other scripts and tools and presets. So check it out over at Creative Dojo. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.